From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good evening. Thank you for joining me here on your Veterans Day. Dominic Ramuni with you. And as I said last week, November would catch up with us, and I think it has. Temperatures struggling to get out of the 50 degree mark here in State College. As we look through the rest of the week on our temperature trend, notice we have a cold front push through the area the first part of tomorrow into Friday, and that's going to cool us back down. Temperatures will struggle to get out of the 40s for Friday and even chillier for Saturday before high pressure moderates us back into the middle 50s for the first part of next week. Average high for this time of year is about 51 degrees, so we're sitting a few degrees above average for this time of year. Going to cool back down, though, as we have that front push through the area. For now, though, like I said, temperatures only getting around 50 degrees here in State College, even chillier off to our west with Bradford and Johnstown struggling in the middle 40s. But the warm spot today has been in eastern Pennsylvania, where they're still sitting in the 60s for Harrisburg, Allentown, and Philadelphia. And we saw that rain push through the area yesterday, leaving black behind it. A few low clouds giving us those overcast skies for much of the afternoon. But the bulk of that system is well off the coast of uh, New England at this hour. And what we're really watching is a cold front off to our west. And like I said, that's going to approach the area overnight tonight, increasing clouds and bringing with it a, a few showers for the first part of your Thursday. I think around daybreak, those showers begin to arrive. And we're not talking about a lot of rain here, perhaps on the order of a tenth up to a quarter inch of rain and it's a quick mover mover too so i think by lunchtime we're going to be dealing with just a few leftover stray showers but that'll push through the area and then for much of the day we're going to be left with just a few clouds but also noticeably the wind is going to pick up and we're going to be left with some breezy conditions for not only thursday but friday as well and that wind is going to allow for a few lake effect rain showers off to our north and west and perhaps if you notice here even a few snow showers in some of the higher elevations so we're getting to that time of year we're going to have to be watching that as uh, temperatures start to cool down. Also, I want to show you the wind gust potential. You can see the front approach area very clearly here on this map. And then as we go throughout Thursday, wind gusts on the order of 10 to 20, perhaps 30 miles per hour. And then that wind actually will even stick around for the first part of Friday. So going to want to hold on to your hats if you're headed to class or work on Friday. Make sure to bring that umbrella, too, if you're headed out tomorrow morning. For now, though, clouds increase overnight. Showers late around daybreak. Notice that wind is fairly light tonight, but notice it picks up tomorrow out of the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Gusts over 30 miles per hour. AM showers clearing after lunchtime, and it's also turning breezier. And as we look at our seven-day forecast here, it's going to back behind that front and turn much chillier for Friday and Saturday with temperatures in the 40s. And then noticeably uh, milder for Sunday in the first part of your work week as we have high pressure start to take control. And also notice after we get through our hump tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with dry conditions, hopefully, through the first part of next week. Thank you so much for joining me. Dominic Ramuni with you. Have a great night.